All right, so it's been four days. I'm really excited about this. I've been keeping this towel over to keep it, you know, nice and in a, I could, sorry. It's been four days and I'm really excited about this. I keep the towel over to keep it in a dark space in the cabinet. And so voila, here we go. Look at this. The kefir is ready to drink and enjoy. And check this out. This fizziness is so much fun. I love that carbonation that's natural and just so wonderful to have, you know, as a refreshing beverage. So it's ready. What we're going to do actually is flavor it. And I recommend get creative at home and try out different flavors that you like. Next, I'll be showing you how to flavor your water kefir, also known as the second fermentation process. And by the way, if you haven't watched my first video on how to initially make your water kefir, be sure to go and watch the first video first off and come back, check out my how to flavor your water kefir and I'll show you how to do that. You can use any different type of flavoring, whether it is a powder, a fruit, or a juice. And we're gonna have a a lot of creative fun together. So this is a turmeric ginger powder and I feel fortunate because my boyfriend's mother, she keeps us very healthy, so she just gave us this today. So I thought it'd be perfect to keep this as like uh, an immunity booster. And we're gonna add it to the kefir. And with that earthy flavor it'll add, what we're going to do is add in some apple juice. You know, that sweetness will help to kind of balance it all out. So I think it's gonna be so much fun to have these all together. And then we're going to bottle it. So we have these smaller bottles. These are great for a couple of people to share. If you're anything like me, you drink the whole thing yourself. But uh, we have the bigger ones too. We'll show you great for like a family. And we're gonna just get started. It's gonna be very simple. So first what you wanna do is get some type of container that will be great for pouring into your jars. So this has a nice little lip to it. And you can also taste it. So we'll do that. Mmm, it's real nice and like mild, refreshing. It's perfect. All right, so now I'm going to just go ahead and pour it all in and then we will flavor in each bottle. So we'll show you that next. I'm going to try to do this carefully. No, no. Right. There we go. I've got our um, filter and here we are. Okay, it fit. Looks great. What you also want to use is some type of funnel and make your life much easier if you have this. And it fits, so we're in luck. Here, I'm going to put in a little bit of the powder. It's also gonna make a beautiful color using this uh, turmeric, wow. It's really bright. So I just put a little bit. And then a little bit of the apple juice. a little bit. Probably just go to here. That's good. And then we're going to fill this. Maybe a little bit more. Ooh. Yes! Wow, this color is just gorgeous. Ooh, it's already getting all fizzy. Wow, so we're gonna fill all these up. Look at these beautiful bottles. I love the color, it's so vibrant. I mean, you just want to drink this. So have fun at home and see what you come up with in terms of experimenting with different flavors and fruits and colors. We had a little bit extra here, so we're just gonna enjoy this right now. I'm gonna take a sip. Mmm, wow, so refreshing and really healthy. That's why I really love 
these types of beverages. Look at our beautiful fluffy grains. Look how much we produced. You remember when we first started, we had the little packet we got in the mail, so exciting. Now look at this, we've got a ton. A point I also want to make is do be careful when you open your kefir at home because it will sometimes get very, very fizzy. So the carbonation is quite strong. It's all natural, which is wonderful. And it's just um, a warning for you because I had that experience myself. So unless you want to make a beautiful Jackson Pollock on your ceiling, do be careful. I've done a few of those. We're just gonna keep our production going. So we're gonna start all over again, do the whole process, try out a different flavor. And now you can see, it was so simple. This is an old traditional drink. So the fermentation is very healthy, you know, and it was a lot of fun. So now that is the victory of vegan cooking. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe because every week we're working hard producing new videos for you. So be sure to hit the subscribe button, share with your friends, and you're really helping to grow my new channel. So I really appreciate you. And keep spreading the vegan love, have fun, and I look forward to hearing from you.